West Farm and Bees. Today we are on the road. I'm on my way out of town to go visit my friend John, the gentleman who was with me when I did that cutout. He is needing to get rid of a few of his colonies and called if I could take them off his hands for him. So I'm on my way up to go pick up some bees. So getting ready to add to our bee family back at the farm. So today should be real exciting, moving bees a few towns away. Gotta stop and get me some lunch first. Gotta love the local hot dog stand. Okay, so change of plans. I am not gonna bring bees back to the farm today. Instead, John is going to wait until tomorrow night to close up the hives. That way all the foragers that are out can get back into the hive and we've got a stronger population. He's then gonna bring it out to me the next day and then we'll put them at the farm. So that's gonna be the plan. I did open up the hives, they look good inside. One is in 10 frame deep. Uh, they are built up on eight frames and still have a couple undrawn comb in there. It's a swarm he caught earlier this year, so he's needing to get rid of that one. And then uh, we've also got a five frame nuke that is built up well and he's gonna get rid of that. That one I'd like to see eventually get put into uh, an eight frame deep, but I still gotta go get that. I don't have an extra hive for that one yet. So we'll get those over to the farm in a couple days and then they'll be part of the team. Should be good. Got to see the queens on both. They look good. Good brood pattern from the uh, first one that's in the tin frame. Both of them look like they're gonna be Italian bees. So it'll be neat to compare and contrast the uh, Carniolans that we have now versus the Italians that we get. You need to see the differences. Okay, so here we are a couple days later and uh, my friend John just left after dropping off our new bee colonies. So let me take, give you a little tour and show you what we have. Okay, so we have our original colony in the Lakeside Cedar Hive. We've got a little five frame nuke here and we've got a 10 frame. So that's the new addition. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go and add on uh, some feeders to these. So that way they've got some resources. We're starting to slow down on the nectar flow out here. Um, so we wanna make sure they got plenty of resources to continue to build up and um, be prosperous. So yay, we have more bees. A big shout out to John. Thank you so much for the bees, sir. Really appreciate it. And um, we'll treat them right. Okay, let's open up our uh, tin frame. This one was a swarm that was caught. And on that side, and funky comb. They're just building it out how they want. Just resources. Okay, we're about half the frame of capped brood and lots of larvae. <laughs> so it's about half full of brood, capped, lots of larvae, good looking frame of bees. Well, let's scrape off some of that burr comb brace comb. Some people call both. This stuff up here connecting the frames together. This is a pretty full frame of brood we have here. And another frame, lots of larvae. All right, so we've got three frames of brood so far. Let's keep moving. What do we have? Solid frame of eggs. Holy cow. That's about 4,000 eggs, it looks like. Wow. Whew. Look at all those eggs on there. And the back looks exactly the same. 
same on both sides. Probably at least 8,000 eggs on this one frame, both sides. Hey, wow, pretty solid pattern of eggs there too. Just honey nectar on the last frames here. So we, we passed her. Just a real quick look through them again. See if we can find a queen. got the Mite Away Quick Strips we're going to put on here. I had a friend of mine give me some of these to try. Cover. We'll give him some syrup. And that one's done. I'll get the strap, we'll put the strap over here in just a bit, but that'll be locked in good to go. Let's go on over and check out our five frames, see how it's doing. I know that we're going to put a, the mite treatment in this one also, just to be on the safe side. The original hive looks like it's been doing okay. Hi there. Well, aren't you a tiny little group of bees? Should make this easy to find a queen. Nothing yet. Just starting to draw that out. We do have eggs and larvae here. Nothing on that side, so just a little bit there. Cat brood, we have open larvae here and some eggs down around the outside. So she's here, she's laying. And that's a good thing. Empty frame. Yeah, we're not going to put them in the eight frame today. We're going to leave them in this five frame just so that they've got um, an easier time defending their hive. Nothing on that side. Yeah, just, just a little bit of nectar and some pollen on here. Okay, one more. I bet she's on this frame. Wow. Oh, yep, there she is. How about that? Right there in the middle, folks. She's tiny. Let's get you a close up. She's walking on the top. Wow, good side. Full of brood. She's checking it out. Tiny queen, but she's working hard. Good. They're doing good, they just need population. Yep, we'll let them sit. They're probably gonna have some population come out in the next few days. So we'll let them go and then we might look in a uh, week or so moving a frame of brood into here to help them fill up depending on how numbers are looking. God, my gloves are so sticky. All right, well, we're going to put this on here just as a precaution. Okay, girls, might want to get out of the way. There we go. I am keeping the top entrance closed for now until they build up some more population.
I don't want to close off that ventilation hole. There we go. That's better. That way they can still get up and have some ventilation. So we'll flip this over. So that way they won't get stuck having to walk over it right away. And they can still get in through the front if they want. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Well, I think I am done for the day. We got Apivar strips in uh, the two new hives. I didn't put it in the third one, the original hive, uh, because they come in uh, two per pack and I've only got three hives. So if I'm gonna open it up, I've got this other one that's gonna sit out. Uh, so we're just going to wait and put the other Apivar strip, or the mock uh, Mightaway quick strip in the original hive at a later time. They seem to be doing okay right now. We'll still do a, uh, might check every time we're in there just to uh, look at the bottom board and see if I can see anything there or on the bees. Uh, we didn't see the queen in our tin frame yet, but we know she's there. We saw the itty bitty baby queen that's in the itty bitty baby colony inside this little tiny five new box with only three frames. So they're tiny, but they'll get big. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. We'll get them moved up to the eight frame box probably in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to come back out later and give them a little thing of syrup that goes in the front of the hive so that way they can at least get that and start making comb to fill out their hive. They're going to have some population come up soon which is great they're going to need that but give them a little bit of syrup to help them out in the meantime. So yay the apiary is growing. We now have three hives out here at West Farm and Bees and I'm good with that right now. That seems plenty to me. Uh, we've got our booming hive that we caught here on the property. We've got a good strong tin frame and then that five frame that's going to do just fine as well. I can feel it. So uh, thanks for joining us. We'll come back out in a week or two to give you an update on how these girls are doing. Uh, and until then, stay tuned. Might have some other videos coming out soon. All right. You guys take care. We'll see you later.